I'm Michelle Collins, Certified Nurse Midwife and Professor of Nursing at Vanderbilt University School of Nursing. Answering the question, is anti-D necessary in pregnancy? Well, to explain a little bit about that, uh, our blood types are either Rh negative or Rh positive. And Rh, a person with an Rh negative blood type does not have um, what's called Rh antigen or, or D antigen in their, on their red blood cells. And so when they're pregnant, if their partner has a positive blood type, the baby they're carrying can also then have a positive blood type. And if there's any mixing of the blood, which can occur during pregnancy between fetus and mom, or can occur at the time of birth, then the, the woman's body will recognize the RHD on the positive, uh, the positive RHD on the cells of the baby's blood cells, and the woman's body will begin producing antibodies against that. And so the effects of this um, are not evident the first pregnancy so much as they are in subsequent pregnancies. So the next time the woman is, is pregnant, those circulating antibodies are still there and they will attack the blood cells of the fetus that she's subsequently carrying and that can cause a very severe anemia and sometimes death. So we check every woman's blood type when she's pregnant to check to see if she is Rh negative or Rh positive. And anti-D is given at around 28 weeks of pregnancy. And also again, uh, after birth, we check the baby's blood type. If the baby's blood type is negative, and so the mother's blood type is negative, then the woman does not need a second dose of anti-D. But if the baby's blood type is positive, and the mother's blood type is negative, then the mother will need another injection of anti-D to help protect from any mixing that might have occurred at the time of birth, and again, that antibody reaction from her to any future pregnancies that she may have. There's no harm in getting the anti-D um, shot that's been established in the research. A woman may have a little bit of swelling or um, occasionally hives or tenderness at the site of the injection.